My name is Nimrod, and this is my lovely wife, Viz, and we are, uh, we serve as a shepherding couple of our church in Davao. This afternoon, do you want your families to be saved? Do you, do you really want them to be saved? Then why are they not disciples today? Do you really have that burning desires in your heart? that consumes you every single day to save your family. Come on. Can you really afford to see your own physical family, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, even your children, suffering and burning in hell while you're enjoying heaven? Fan the flame of fruitfulness in your family. That is our admonition today. Let's open our Bibles in Hebrews 11. In Hebrews 11, 7, the Bible says, By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. We too have been warned of God's judgment of heaven and hell. And we too, just like Noah, need to build an ark that is going to save our family. And what is that ark today that God wants us to build. You see, that ark is none other than the kingdom of God. You see, as disciples, we are building the kingdom of God. But we need to build it right according to God's plan. And the plan of God, this should not come as a surprise to you. Because the plan of God is simple and not complicated. Yeah. And what is the plan of God? The Bible says we need to seek the kingdom first. Yeah. That we need to put, prioritize the kingdom of God above anything else. That we need to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily. And that we need to love God more than anyone, more than anything, even to the point of hating our own family for them to be saved. Yeah. And we need to give up everything, I mean everything for God. That is the cost that we have to pay to save our family. Wow. And we could never afford to compromise. Amen. Can you imagine if Noah compromised the plan of God just a little bit, he changed the design of the ark. Wow. Do you think the ark would have survived the flood. No. He and his family will be lost. They will all be dead in the same way. We can never compromise the standard of God in building his kingdom. I remember, you know, the day that I was about to be baptized, my brother John actually called the pastor that night to talk me out of it. In that morning, the day that I was about to be baptized, again another pastor talked me out of it. But I was resolved. I was determined to repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of my sins. And because I did not waver and I did not compromise, my brother John got baptized. And his entire family are now disciples serving the kingdom of God. And not only that, my three sisters became disciples. And my brother-in-law is now a disciple. And most of all, my mother became a disciple and she's with us at this time. Now at this time, I will have my amazing wife face share for us. <laughs> Amen, sisters. When is the flame of fruitfulness in our family is extinguished? 
It's when we stop, just like what Tony said, watching our lives and doctrine closely. It's when we give up on them too easily. The Bible says that when we do this, we will not save both ourselves and our hearers, our very own family. So when I became a disciple at 17, it took, it took me three years to baptize a family member, my own younger sister. A year later, we both baptized our only female first cousin in our father's side of the family. I was so fired up. But then they both fell away. And I, be I began to think in my heart, why bother? They will all fall away in a way. But something special happened. I became a mom, and I realized I need a roaring fire going if I want them to become disciples one day. And so Nima and I passionately reached out to men and women who would become our son's godly titos and titas, and we then served in the children's ministry to make sure they will grow up with best friends in the kingdom. And finally, on October of 2014, we moved all the way from Davao and placed membership to the sold out movement of God here in Metro Manila. And of course, we moved on to be part of the Davao mission team to reach out to our families. And last Sunday, I was able to reach out to my cousin and his wife. They both became disciples. Amen. Amen, family. We need to understand. We need to understand that the kingdom of God is the only place in the world that we can bring our family into for them to be saved. Amen. And God bless. <laughs>